lab is testing the macromolecules. Okay, the four macromolecules are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. In today's lab, we'll be testing for carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids, but not nucleic acids. And these four are necessary for life, and they're in all living things. Okay, and for today's lab, don't forget to wear safety glasses and pull back your hair. Okay, now on to the testing. Okay, so one of the tests we'll be doing today is a simple sugar test. And so what you'll use is Benedict's solution, and then you'll put, you'll add heat to that, and then it will change it in orange color. And then another test will be is testing for proteins, and you'll add direct solution, and then it will turn purple if there's proteins present. And then we'll go on to our lipid test. And so the, like the first thing you'll do is put lipid, like the, the love lipid on a paper, on the green paper, and it will have like a translucent stain. And then another test we'll do for lipids is you'll put lipids and water like in a tube and shake it up and they actually won't mix. But then you put lipid and ethanol in a tube and then they'll mix it and they'll make like things that look like glass. And then the last test we'll be doing today is start test and then you put iodine and then the iodine will turn black because there's starch present. So to start off with you'll need clean test tubes and then there'll be a sugar solution you will test, a gelatin solution you will test, a vegetable oil, Solution you'll test, a starch solution you will test, and then you use Bendix solution to test if there's simple sugars in it. You'll use the um, Barrette Regainant, and it will be purple if there's um, proteins present. And then ethanol, you'll be ethanol in the green paper, you will use part of the lipids test, and iodine you will use to test if there's starch in there. And also this. Um, this is hot water that we will use to use add the heat to the Bendix solution to tell if there's simple sugars in it or not. Okay, so I guess first get your clean test tube, make sure there's nothing in it, and then you'll add just a tiny, like a small amount of sugar solution, like not very much like that. That's probably all you really need. You don't really need that much. Okay, and then to the simple sugar, you'll add Benedix and just add like about that equal amount into there, so like that much, and then you're good. And then you'll put it in this heat, and so you'll just kind of, like 30 seconds in there, just stir it a tiny bit to help it go, but be careful. And as you can see, it's starting to change colors. It's starting to go lighter, because there are simple sugars present, and pretty soon here it'll turn orange. And there we go. Now it is orange because there's simple sugars in it. Okay, so what you do after that is you dump out your test tube and you clean it. Okay, after you've cleaned out your test tube, we now will test for um, proteins. So in the gelatin solution, you just add just a tiny bit, like you don't really need a whole lot, like. That much should be good. And then you use the again to test it. And then, so just add about equal amount of that. that. That should be good. And then you'll notice it's like purple because there's proteins in it. It will turn a purple color. Okay, now you dump out your tube again. And you can rinse it out. You probably should rinse it out. So we're gonna start off with, then we're gonna do lipid tests, and so the first one you'll do, you'll get um, a green paper, and you'll just get some vegetable oil, and you'll just rub it on there, put it all over, rub it on there, and it, you'll notice that it's translucent, like you can see light through it. And then, if you'll notice that's different than the water one, because if we put water on it, Water is not trans translucent, but then the vegetable oil is. Okay, and so that's what you're doing. Okay, so now you're going to do add the vegetable oil and water in the tube. So just get a little water, just add it in the tube, and then you'll add a little vegetable oil, just about the same amount to it. 
and then you'll like to try and mix it together and stir it as hard as you can and it won't mix so the, the vegetable oil and the water won't mix but here we're gonna get another quick tip for that but what we're but if you put the vegetable oil so now we're gonna do the other test of it which is the best the vegetable oil and ethanol and so just put vegetable oil now in the tube and then come over here all. Put that in the tube. And then when you try and mix this, mix it, and then you'll notice like little kind of beads, like glass look beads that like resemble glass are in there. And that's because they actually will mix. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is your starch test. And so what you do in this one is you'll put the starch solution in there. Okay, and then after you have the starch solution, you'll go over here and use the iodine. Just add some iodine, and it will turn black because starch are present. Okay, and then once you're done, and then after this, you will have these that are known, like things that you know, such as peanut butter, milk, apple juice, egg whites, potato slash corn chips, bread, and the un and then you'll also test the unknown. And within these, you're going to like test them and use the, all the different tests on them to figure out what macromolecule is the most present in them. Don't forget to fill out your laboratory report and fill out every single information laboratory report asks you, and then don't forget to clean up the supplies and put them up.